local coverage tonight, a silent vigil, but a loud cry for support as community members rally around individuals with developmental disabilities. They hope the lessons learned after a notorious mental institu institution was shuttered will not be forgotten in these tough times. To dream the impossible dream. Back in 1907, when Joseph Ladd opened a center for the developmentally disabled here in Exeter, it was an impossible dream for them to be treated fairly and served appropriately. Staff were well-meaning but not well-trained, and because there was nothing meaningful for people to do, people just sat in huge wards for a long time. The Ladd Center closed its doors 15 years ago after a class action lawsuit against the state of Rhode Island. It was a battle. It, it took some time, uh, but I think there was a realization among the people who worked uh, in state government as well as the families that it was really the right thing to do. And the concern really is that in this economic times that people kind of forget how horrific institutions were. So people are gathering for a 72-hour silent vigil to commemorate all of the people who lived and died at the Ladd School. They're also trying to bring awareness to the community agencies that currently provide much more appropriate care. Fundamentally, what we have learned is that um, if you provide people with the supports that they need, then a lot of people who were thought to be not employable, a lot of people who were thought to not be capable of leading real lives are. And the silent vigil lasts through Wednesday at 1 p.m. Then organizers will lead a rally in support of individuals with disabilities to the steps of the State House to underscore the importance of not cutting funding to community support programs.